everyone. I'm back with another upload. So, I have to be honest when I speak about this situation with Amber Ali, Jocelyn Hernandez, Zeus, and the whole Jocelyn's Cabaret reality show. Amber brought a lot of this on herself. Got to be honest about saying it. It's just the truth. Got to be real. But Amber Ali, after filing a $25 million lawsuit, Amber Ali has decided that she's dropping the lawsuit. So she posted on her old face, her old Instagram page because she has a new one. She deleted it. And I'm, I'm going to explain to you why I feel she deleted it. But this is what she posted a couple of days ago. Thank you to all my fans that have my back. After a deep thought, I am no longer seeking legal action against the Zeus Network, Jocelyn or Ballistic for what took place at the reunion. I'm putting this entire ordeal behind me. Thank you for your support and understanding. I'm in great health and great spirits. I am moving on my life. Now, I believe that she did this definitely because they settled. And I believe she took the money because she knew that had she went forward with this case and took it to court, she would have lost. Because Amber was not innocent in the fight. And those videos, uploads that they did on Instagram with her and K Capri, it showed that they were ready to fight. Jocelyn didn't make videos about them. The other girls didn't make videos about them. But Amber and K Capri did. Okay? It is what it is. Now, I don't feel bad for Amber in a sense up until the whole melee happened. Because Amber, you know how Jocelyn is and how she gets down. Even though you wasn't coming off threatening her, you really wasn't on those videos. K Capri did. But you was co-signing K Capri's nonsense. And K Capri, I do believe that there is some underlying issues about her. Because all of what she did, it was unnecessary. That reunion could have been a real easy reunion. Like the reunion from season two. With the exception of Jocelyn throwing a candle at, at Big Lex. But see, here's the problem I have. That reunion of season two, Jocelyn Cabaret, set the tone for this entire season of Jocelyn's Cabaret. Okay? And Jocelyn did not pick the best girls. Had Jocelyn picked the six girls from season two, especially Lucky Hustler, Sapphire, along with um, Chanel Stowe, um, Lexi Blow, I would go as far as to definitely say Miss Natural and not not Yummy P, but Big Lex, although Big Lex got her own spinoff, her own show, but at least five of those girls she could have picked because a lot of those girls on this season, to me, they were just lackluster. They wasn't good. And I know deep down inside, Jocelyn regrets like ruining the relationship that she had with Lexi, not Lexi, with Lucky and Sapphire. Because those were her girls. They had her bad. But the reality in a nutshell is I think that they need to really, 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 really in Jocelyn's cabaret. And just retool the show, which is focusing on Jocelyn, ballistic, and her endeavors of making music, traveling around the world performing and really crossing over to being like a real household name entertainer. Like the re all this, you know, reality stuff, you know, trying to like, you know, help girls and whatever time out for a Jocelyn. And I'm a Jocelyn and this fan, but I gotta be honest. Every season of the show, you getting into it with these girls and it's not a good look for your brand. It's not a good look. You've come really far 
from the love and hip hop. You come far from Stevie J, you know, saying that you're going to go back to the strip club. Don't let this experience bring you back to that because I'm going to be honest. I saw those videos and I'm going to say it really looked like this one instance. It really did look like in the beginning, Jocelyn was not really the bad person in the situation, but it got out of hand because of those Instagram live videos. But where Jocelyn messed up, she shouldn't have called Amber the N-word and said, don't touch me, my N, because we ain't cool. She shouldn't have did that. That's what set the tone for this whole situation. And Amber, this is a lesson to you. If you ever go on audition for a show again, you better clean up your temper and you better also stop clout chasing. Because the reason why you got that new Instagram page, which is really the backup ones because of what you did towards Armand Wiggins. You was you basically wanted Armand to interview you, but you wanted to get paid. And Armand talked about you. And I'm going to talk about that whole situation tomorrow. And you went to Tasha K. And it seemed like Tasha K may have paid you. Or maybe Armand wasn't really feeling you. But you talked about Armand on that interview. And Armand moved on. And now you and Armand got issues. And I think that's why you did it. Because people were coming at you. And that's how this whole situation got blown out of portion with Jocelyn. And I don't even think you'll even be on reality TV anymore because you're going to always be known as the girl that fought, that Jocelyn fought and ballistic beat up bad. And you have notoriety attached to your name. And that's not good. That's not good at all. And you're very talented as a dancer. That's the bad thing about it. You're talented. You're better dancer than the girls that she had in her cabaret with exception of Jordan. But Jordan left. And, you know, you got the cooking um, business on the side. But it's going to be a long road to rehab, rehab, to basically rehabilitating your image. And with that being said, I'm signing out. Thank you. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Hit the notification bell and I'll talk to you soon. Later.